Welcome back. I'm here live at the fourth annual CNBC Technology Executive Council Summit. It's a gathering of tech executives and thought leaders. The labor market, a big topic of conversation here. It will be. We've got a hiring slowdown, recent spates of layoffs. Just this hour, we got news that a large hedge fund is calling on Alphabet to cut costs and cut employees. Joining us now is Arun Sundararajan, NYU professor of entrepreneurship and technology, speaking here today on how to build the most effective and diverse teams. Uh, good to have you here. Delighted to be joining. Building teams is one thing, but recently we saw Twitter making cuts and cutting so quickly it appears they cut some people who they needed. They had to yep. hire back. Traditionally, uh, people of color, marginalized groups, are the ones who get cut first, right? Does that change, should that change in this cycle? Um, I think it absolutely should. I mean, there's plenty of academic evidence that suggests that having diverse teams isn't just about a hiring ideology. It actually makes good business sense. Diverse teams tend to have more divergent thinking. Um, they draw from different life experiences. They bring in information from different networks. Um, they end up with more creative solutions. The trade-off that they make is sometimes they can't converge fast on a solution, so they give up some speed. But with tech teams, with R&D teams, with anything with a high level of innovation in it, um, the diversity benefits always outweigh the speed costs. And diversity means more than ethnic diversity, of course, but isn't there this challenge where companies are looking to continue hiring and maintain uh, the employee count in strategically important areas while also cutting back on areas that aren't growing? And that's the primary thing that they have to do to survive. Sometimes they're not able to maintain certain demographic numbers or it's difficult to as they do that, right? Yeah, I think it's always a challenge in tech. Um, I think that the, um, you know, the recent slowdown in the tech labor market, the layoffs at Meta, Twitter is a different story, um, but Meta, Amazon, um, Google is now under pressure to cut its uh, labor force, um, Stripe, Salesforce. I think that's actually going to have a positive effect on diversity in hiring because it makes the labor market a little less competitive in tech. So instead of just chasing after any talent that you can get and sort of not putting your diversity objectives front and center, companies that are hiring in tech can sort of kick back a little, like, you know, take a measured view on how much they want to hit those objectives. And we may actually see some, some positive effects here. I've got a theory, I want to run past you because you're an expert, totally. that we're about to see an unprecedented amount of pressure on controlled companies because of stock price declines, and not because the activists themselves have influence, but because the employees who are you know, predominantly paid in equity have influence. You need those high value employees to stick around in order to build the future. Is that what we're about to see? Um, absolutely, I mean, I think that that's a great theory. Um, I think that there's definitely gonna be investor pressure, um, but you know, there was a ton of hiring in the two years that followed the COVID lockdowns at these tech companies. The labor market over there got intensely competitive. There were extremely large um, restricted stock unit grants given. Um, not only have these fallen in value, but employees may often be left with a tax bill that is tied to you know, the starting value rather than the 65% less value that they're facing now. And so there is definitely going to be pressure for employees. The thing that it's, is going to counter it is a greater sense of insecurity in the tech job market, mm. which I haven't really seen in the last seven or eight years. Right. And so it remains to be seen whether that will silence employees who are worried about keeping their jobs. Well, we'll see. Professor, thank you. I uh, hear from the Technology Executive Council Summit, which is getting ready to kick off.